This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. You can hashtag it if you like. Call me anytime. It was a gorgeous sunrise this morning. I've got a, a bit more content I wanted to share. This is the Tides Near Me app. Cherry Grove Inside is the location. And these are the real-time numbers right now. Oh, that's an interesting effect. There you go. So we've got a relatively small moon, but I can't. I don't believe I'll be able to show it to you anymore. Where the sun and the moon appear and vanish over the stationary Earth uh, and their duration of visibility between one another can't be explained by the global deception, by what they're saying by what NASA says is going on. They've got formulas and theories that don't reflect reality at all. The water reflects reality. Personal choices, uh, for example, this group of kayaker and paddle boarders uh, signed up with Cocapelli uh, Surf Camp to uh, come on out here and enjoy the beauty of this. That's awesome. Right now we can see that the tide is going out and down. And I can show you that by uh, just the higher is drier. We can see the high tide line, how that's gone away. Um, a decade ago, this uh, sand didn't used to be here. We used to uh, have the, um, the breakwater where the water would go up right to the building there. Now we can see that's quite a bit different. In the uh, winter, the sun would come up, does come up way over here, and today it came up over here, right there. Uh, the water primarily covers the face of the earth and uh, doesn't stick to an external shape. It fills its container. Uh, the tide rises and falls twice a day. It's a diurnal tide, between four and seven feet. There you go. That's uh, Wyatt and, and the group. His brother, uh, Brandon, uh, and he uh, operate the, the surf camp, Cocapelli, and bring people on out here. Now that the tide has gone out and down about a foot, we can see the uh, sailboat that I'm going to zoom in on now. You can hashtag buoyancy, that's real science. Here it is. That sailboat washed up a couple years ago. That's Wheaties Island there. Inlet Point Plantation has uh, horseback rides out there. I've done it, it's wonderful. So to be clear, we can see that the, the marker on the left has got more water covering it than on the right. That's just what it'll do. And I've got video where I show it uh, in different stages, the, the tide at different levels to show that. We've got video I've recorded out here almost 12 hours long with the, the moon setting and the sun rising. So where, they, where the sun and the moon appear and vanish and their duration of visibility between one another varies quite a bit. And it's not a random thing, it's, it's a celestial timepiece that's uh, very reliable, it repeats and it causes and it tells us the seasons and causes them as well. It's just what it does. So the reflections of the active people doing stuff, getting out and kayaking and uh, doing the surf type activity, kayaking and paddle boarding and horseback riding and jet skiing and all that, they're typically going to be uh, fitter, more more healthy. A lot of fresh air, a lot of oxygen, 
I've got a lot of plants in my house too. I've got to climate control it because it'll get pretty hot and humid if I didn't. Um, so I want to create a lot of oxygen in there with, uh, I don't create it, I just put the plants in there and water them. With the purified water, I'll actually um, add some magnesium sulfate to my uh, drinking water, which is my bath water as well, reverse osmosis, carbon filtered. It'll add nutrients to my plants, and if I've got a little uh, foot funk, a little foot or any other uh, fungus, I'll just uh, bathe with a cup of baking soda in that purified water. It'll kill any of that fungus which, by the way, is uh, cancerous, from what I understand. Doctor in uh, Italy injected uh, baking soda water and cancerous tumors killed them. And if I have uh, like a foot funk or something like that, it'll just uh, give me that fresh smell uh, because it'll kill, kill that off. I don't want to use any uh, toxic personal hygiene products, so I'll use the uh, the baking soca, soda, coconut oil, that type of thing. So we have personal choices that we can make that either help us to live healthy or or not as healthy. Much of humanity is toxic with what's going in and on the body and in the ears and eyes and what the brain thinks about. Why would I dwell on what I can't change? Well, I'll just expose the reality of the world we live in and, and proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth around the clock, leveraging worldwide uh, digital communications, social media, and all of that. I've got an audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation you might enjoy. The playlist is called hashtag YouTube Truth. What a day, huh? It feels a lot better out here that little bit of breeze. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a lot of breeze earlier. A lot of, a lot of uh, drifting of the, of the sand, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, are, are you coming out later on today too? Yeah, I got an island tour starting at 12. Nice. We come back out here for it. Sounds good. Y'all take care. Thanks. I don't see any of the eagles in the in the trees right now, but uh, I've got video thumbnails where you can see the eagle in the thumbnail, and I've got them on the videos too. You might enjoy that. Good day, y'all. Beautiful pictures, I'm sure. Oh, thanks. Now I gave Wyatt. Um, one of a couple of my. I actually have enough. I can give. Uh, oh, oh. If you, if, oh, 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 I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, okay. That there, I got one for you. And you can feel free to share them. Y'all will be on there. Oh, it's oh. just such so beautiful. What a beautiful sunrise. Oh yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you'll be on. Uh, you'll be on YouTube later, and it'll be on my uh, Facebook. In fact, I'll give you a few extras you can hand out to anybody else that that wants those. I'm Robert Forge. Hi. Nice to meet you, Robert. Judy. I'm Laura. Judy and Laura. Nice. Judy. Right. Well, good to see you, ladies. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. So now everybody in the group can uh, go there if they care to, and and that's part of the dynamic too because it's a it's a reason to go there, and they might uh, find more than they expected. We're, we're actually in a battle, um, and truth and deception are our main weapons. Uh, the power of God is way more than Satan's power. 
And so the truth is way more powerful than the deception. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So that's the unfortunate situation, um, is that deceived people are, they're not going to get it. And what I would simply say is to encourage everybody to uh, hear, share, and of course, obey God's word. I think what I'm going to do is uh, take us for a little bit of a walk, and um, I'm going to set this up a little bit different. So I'm walking on uh, slanted ground right now, but I don't have to think about standing vertical. It just happens. That's part of the, the nature of how that works. It can be a little more challenging to walk on a slanted ground. So let me uh, let me see. Uh, give us a little bit different of a look there. I think I'll probably be able to show you the ship that's out there as I uh, walk up this way. Now that I see how uh, flat and level the water is, it's I can't unsee that reality. And I'm passionate about exposing that reality to humanity because I, I do believe it matters for eternity. A lot of... Um, a lot of people that are basing their belief that God isn't real is because NASA basically says so. Uh, we're a godless cosmic big bang according to them. Well, I'm just uh, showing the biblical, what I believe to be the biblical perspective on the reality of the world that we live in. Unapologetically, not a uh, not apologizing for that. I'll just show you and talk about it. Yeah, I can't see the ship yet. I think he's uh, probably unloading now. So if I uh, just hold this here for a little bit, I'll zoom in and I think you'll be able to see the current moving from left to right. That's the direction of the wind, but it's also the, and I should say, it's also the direction of the tide flowing out of the Russell Burgess Coastal Preserve that this is connecting to right here. I've got a lot of video that I've shot from there too, as well as photos. And this is the open ocean here. 
This is the point in Cherry Grove, and uh, that is the Tillman Pier that's up there. So the, the tide will allow, going out will allow, I've walked out almost a quarter of a mile out from here. Just trying to adjust my uh, tripod a bit here. So when the uh, sun appears quite a bit larger, it's because it's closer and hotter. You can feel that more. And the uh, sunrise is it's a cooler time, and as it moves closer, it gets warmer. It's just the way it is. So as, uh, as the tide goes out, it will uh, expose the higher spots of the, the sand, like that right there. It's, there's a bit of a crown. And I'm going to step on out there and show you some of that. about that. I'm 
pretty tough on my equipment. It's um, I give it a lot of use. I'm trying to tighten it up as much as I know how, but it's having trouble with that. So as we can see, the, the higher is drier and lighter color, and, and uh, the lower is wetter. The water fills its container. The uh, washboard surface and the tidal pools are all shaped by the hydrodynamics, the water turbulence. And that nice.
here I was uh, recording five uh, surf fishermen from Vietnam and uh, we all got hit by lightning. You can hashtag struck by lightning if you want to see it. It was a test. Uh, God wanted me to see what I would do. He already knew what I would do. Not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. Isn't that special? <laughs> tell you it is. I'm a, I'm a new man. It's awesome to not be afraid. So thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. I'll zoom in on the fishermen from this uh, vantage point. We had an eight foot bull shark caught out here. It was a catch and release after he cut his head off. Yeah, it's a good thing to do with the bull shark like that in these areas. They're pretty dangerous. Feel free to call anytime. Hashtag YouTube Truth if you like. Or my name. You can send a powerful message to uh, Google slash YouTube. Thank you so much.